Assalamu alaikum dear students, how are you? Hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine. This is Kamun Nahar, Assistant Teacher of English, National Ideal English Version is called Day Shift. My dear students of class 5, today I am going to take your Bangladesh and Global Studies class. And our today's topic is topic 1 and 2 from chapter 12. Today we will start a new chapter. So what is the name of this chapter? Bangladesh and the World. So all of you can take your Bangladesh and Global Studies books and go to page 92. Okay, now look, chapter 2 of Bangladesh and the World. So at first, we will start with the United Nations. And United Nations is an international organization. Uh, it works to maintain peace and harmony, uh, I mean, uh, throughout the whole world. After the devastating, uh, I mean, after the, I mean, after observing the destruction of the Second World War, uh, I mean, the world felt need to, uh, I mean, establish such an organization. That means, so which organization can uh, maintain uh, peace and harmony in this world? Okay, let's start. United Nations. We are just one of 195 countries in the world. So there are 195 countries in the world. You can underline this sentence. Our world needs brotherhood and cooperation. So if you want to live here peacefully, the world needs, that means the countries, uh, I mean, uh, 195 countries needs brotherhood and cooperation. If you want to live here peacefully, otherwise there will be uh, war, there will be uh, different issues or there will be different problems. I mean, different problems will arise if we don't have brotherhood and cooperation. The countries of the world are dependent on each other in different respects. So we dependent, I mean, we depend on different countries in different respects or, or in different issues. In this way, brotherhood cordially and cooperation are developed among the countries. So if you, uh, I mean, uh, if each country help, I mean, if the countries help each other, there will be brotherhood and cooperation. And it will uh, be, I mean, it will help the countries to maintain peace among themselves. This is why the United Nations was formed after the losses of the Second World War in 24 October 1945. So, United Nations was formed after the losses of the Second World War in 24 October 1945. So, in the Second World War, the world observed that, uh, I mean, uh, the world realized that they don't, I mean, they don't want war anymore and that's why they established this organization united nations uh, and uh, this organization maintain peace i mean their main aim or their main motto or their main purpose is to maintain peace in this world okay now look the main goal of this organization is to establish peace in the world so this is their main goal on 17 september 1974 bangladesh joined the united nations after we won our independence now the member states of UN, uh, UN or United Nations, I mean in short it is called UN is 193. So among 195 countries, nine, 193 countries are the member of United Nations. And now look, we joined, that means Bangladesh joined on 7 September 1974. That means after uh, gaining independence, Bangladesh joined United Nations. And now the member states of UN is 193. All of you remember this one. Now look, there are six administrative branches of the UNA. Six administrative branches. So how many branches are there? Six administrative branches. So all of you will um, learn the name of those branches. Now look, Secretariat, General Assembly, International Court of Justice, Economic and Social Council, Security Council and Trusteeship Council. So these are the six administrative branches. And now look, in the middle there is a logo of the United Nations. This is the logo of the united nations and in your book you can also see the logo uh, now look secretariat handles the administration the secretary general is currently antonio guetres of portugal now look secretary handles the other administration this is the main branch and the main headquarter of una uh, i mean united nations is in uh, new york city that means which is in united nations of america and secretary handles all the administration and 
Now the Secretary General is the Antonio Guterres who was uh, the citizen of Portugal. And now we go to the another administrative branches, General Assembly. The General Assembly is where member nations meet to discuss and cast votes. It, uh, its session is held once in a year. A president is elected each year. In 1986, it was Mr. Humayun Rashid Chaudhry of Bangladesh. So now look, every year General Assembly is held in United Nations. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, general, the headquarters of General Assembly is in New York also. And uh, uh, the representative of different countries of the, or the member states uh, assemble there and they discuss in different issues and they cast votes. And its session is now look held. You can underline this one. Its session is held once in a year. And a president is elected each year. So each year, uh, I mean, all the member countries give vote to select a president for this general assembly. And it was our honor that in 1986 it was Humayun Rashid Chaudhary of Bangladesh. So Humayun Rashid Chaudhary of Bangladesh became president one time. Now we will go to International Court of Justice. International Court of Justice resolves disputes between member countries. So what is the work of International Court of Justice? International Court of Justice, uh, I mean, resolves disputes between member country, countries. So if uh, I mean, uh, if uh, any problem arises between two countries, those countries go to the International Court of Justice. They can demand justice to that court. I mean, if any uh, problem arises, I mean, if you need the, I mean, uh, legal assistance, where will you go? We will go to the court to demand our justice, just like this. Uh, I mean, uh, countries. Uh, I mean, if any country need any help, I mean, if any country want, uh, I mean, justice, they will go to. International Court of Justice or if there's any quarrel or if there's any disputes uh, between two countries or three countries they will go to the International Court of Justice to solve these disputes and in 2012 Bangladesh won its case against Myanmar about rights in the Bay of Bengal so in 2012 Bangladesh won a case against Myanmar about the rights of the Bay of Bengal now we will go to economic and social council now look, Economic and Social Council aims to improve economic development and end poverty, illiteracy and unemployment. So Economic and Social Council aims to improve economic development and end poverty, illiteracy and unemployment. So this is the work of the Economic and Social Council. They will work uh, to develop the economy, uh, economy of, uh, of the world or economy of different countries and they also work to end the poverty illiteracy rate and unemployment now we will go to security council security council is responsible for peacekeeping and defense so what is the work of the security council to maintain peace and defense and there are five permanent members so there are five permanent members and what are they now look uk usa russia china and france so these are the five permanent members of the security councils but in total there will be 10 security member councils but the uh, other five countries are not permanent and Bangladesh became its member two times as a temporary member so Bangladesh became two times temporary member of the security council and Bangladesh has sent her soldiers and police for peacekeeping missions in many countries of the world now trusteeship council Trusteeship Council, which no longer meets, its purpose was to help new nations gain independence. So, trusteeship, uh, I mean, what is the work of the Trusteeship Council? To help new nations to gain its independence. But Trusteeship Council has no longer meets its demand nowadays. So, this is the work of Trusteeship Council to help new nations to gain independence. So there are six administrative branches, Secretary General Assembly, International Court of Justice, Economy and Social Council, uh, Security Council and Trust Council. All of you will uh, know about it, all of you will learn about those councils. Now we will go to our next page, page number 93. Now look, in A, I mean, uh, section A, discuss with the help of your teacher the purpose of the international. So there are 
purposes of the United Nations. There are five purposes of the United Nations. Uh, those are important. All of you will learn those purposes. Question can come. I um, mean, uh, write four purposes, purposes of the United Nations. Write five purposes of the United Nations, or write three, or mention four purpose, uh, or two purposes of the United Nations. So all of you will learn it to maintain international peace and security. So the purpose of the United Nations is to maintain international peace and security, to develop friendly relations among nations, to achieve international cooperation in solving problems of an economic, social, cultural, and human nature. Number four, to show respect on liberty and fundamental rights of irrespective of our nation, uh, religion and caste. Number five, to be a center of harmonizing the actions of nations. So these are the five objectives of the United Nations. All of you will learn it. Now we will go to section C. Now look, United Nations Day is celebrated on 24 October each year. So this is the United Nations Day. I mean, we celebrate United Nations Day on 24 October every year and now look United Nations was formed on 24 October uh, in 1945 now session D complete the sentence the role of the United Nations in the world is mainly to mainly to what is mainly to establish establish peace peace in the World. Now we will go to next page. UN Development Organizations. So, in lesson one, we have learned about six administrative branches of the United Nations. Now we will know about the six development organizations of the United Nations. And through these six organizations, uh, United Nations, uh, I mean, uh, done their development works. Uh, MNA, among the member countries let's see the united nations have many organizations by which development works are done for the member countries these organizations are carrying out different development programs in bangladesh so these are uh, now look there are six organizations and these six organizations also uh, carried out development programs in bangladesh and uh, not only bangladesh they uh, i mean they carry out they carry out uh, different development programs in in different countries of the world i mean throughout the whole world actually okay at first we will start with the world bank and in short it is called wb okay the world bank provides funds for development programs it, its headquarter is situated in washington in the usa so where is the headquarter of world bank his headquarters situated in the washington in the usa and it provides funds for the development program it uh, provides funds to, to different countries different countries can uh, take loan from the world bank now we will go to unicef it stands for united nations international children's emergency fund unicef stands for it is important question can come what does unicef um, unicef stand for unicef uh, stands for united nations international children's emergency fund so all of you will learn it so what is the work of UNICEF? It provides many education and health programs for children. So the work of UNICEF is to provide programs of education and health for children. Like primary school education, vaccination, latrines, drinking water, nutrition, etc. So all of you will learn it. Now we will go to, now look there is a logo of UNICEF. And this is the logo of World Bank. Now we will go to uh, FAO, I mean FAO or Food and Agriculture Organization. Now look, there is the logo of FAO. This is the logo of this organization. And its headquarter is situated in Rome in Italy. So its headquarter is situated in Rome in Italy. And what is the work of this organization? Distributes emergency food during disaster. So if there is any disaster, it will distribute food in emergency. And it also aims to improve country's long-term agriculture development. And so it also helps to develop the agriculture of any country, but in a long run, in a long process. We need a long term. Now, World Health Organization or WHO. This is the logo of World Health Organization, and its activities are run in six regions in the world. 
so its activities run in the six regions in the world they divided the world in six regions and bangladesh is the part of south east asia so where i mean bangladesh is the past part of south east asia and bangladesh benefits from programs on hospital care and family planning so bangladesh get helps on hospital care and family planning and we join in world health day on 7 april now look this is 7th april now we will go to united nations educational scientific and cultural organization in short it is called unesco now look this is the logo of unesco united nations educational scientific and cultural organization and its headquarter is in france and what is the work of unesco we will know now look its headquarter is in france in paris introduced 21st february as international mother language day and recognized the his uh, historic seven march speech of bangabandhu as world documentary heritage it aids uh, it aids the excavation of parpur and the conservation of the sundarban so what is the work of unesco it declared uh, i mean uh, it declared different international day and it also declared uh, the world heritage site or world uh, heritage i mean uh, documentary heritage etc so this is the work of unesco and uh, it, it it i mean declared 21st february as the international mother language day and it also uh, it also declared uh, 7 march speech of bangabandhu as world documentary heritage and it also helps uh, in our excavation of paharpur and it also uh, helps in uh, in protecting our sundarbans now we will go to united nations development program and in short it is called undp so this is the logo of undp united nations development program helps bangladesh to reduce poverty reduce the risks of climate disasters and build economic growth so this is the work of undp and bangladesh get helps to um, uh, uh, to reduce poverty reduce the risks of climate disasters and build economic growth so these are the works of the six i mean uh, organizations i mean through these six organizations united nations uh, i mean uh, done their developmental work now we will go to next page now look in section c one world bank uh, project in bangladesh is case there is a program called case cac now look what is the full form of case clean air and sustainable environment so this is the project of world bank and it's very important question can come what is case also all of you learn it one world bank project in bangladesh is case clean air and sustainable environment which aims to reduce pollution from the brick fields and from transport so it works to reduce the pollution from the brick fields and transport so this is the work of CAC or case so all of you will learn it and now look there is a picture case project in the brick fields suggesting what you would like to uh, case do to to help the pedestrian breathe cleaner air that means they try to reduce the pollution from the air and now section d which organization is responsible for children option a unesco option b unicef option c sir option d undp which organization we know that unicef works for the children so dear students these are all for today i mean lesson one and lesson two from chapter 12 so all of you will go through these two lessons lesson one and lesson two from chapter 12 and all of you will uh, read those um, read your textbook again again and again and if you felt any problem and you have any queries you will ask me in your uh, live class or you can also contact me over phone so dear students i hope you have understood our today's topic all of you will study regularly and listen to your parents see you again allah peace